Hello, I'm back with a new video, and in this one, we'll be talking about doing GPU pass through with MX Linux. In order for this guide to work, you have to select the primary or the boot GPU, that is, whatever GPU is outputting this screen onto the monitor as the GPU used by MX Linux. The other GPU has to be the one used for pass through. I'll select number one and hit enter. To get started, we'll first make sure that our installation is up to date and apt get update and apt get upgrade. And now to ensure that everything goes smoothly, we'll reboot. So in the next step, we'll download pass through helper for MX Linux and I'll leave the link in the video description. We'll go right here. Download zip, save it, go to our downloads, extract it, and next we'll have to run it. So let's open up our terminal. Let me minimize it so it's less cluttered. Okay, become a super user, and let's go to our downloads and we'll make it executable so chmod plus x gpu pass through dot sh enter now let's run it gpu pass through dot sh we confirm installation of whatever needs to be installed and we'll reboot. Now let's take a quick look at the results. Let's become a super user and let's run lspci-k and we see our NVIDIA 980 right here. So kernel driver in use is VFIO-PCI and that's perfect. If we look at the audio portion for that card, it's still controlled by the native driver. And that doesn't matter. In order to use it in our virtual machine, when we add it with virtual machine manager, it will be taken over by VFIO-PCI. So that's fine. As long as the GPU itself is controlled by VFIO-PCI, we're fine. So we are good here and we can move on and open up Virtual Machine Manager. Password, let's add connection, QEMU KVM, right click on details, virtual networks, Let's do on boot, apply. We can run it right now. Okay, it should be enough. Now we can create the new virtual machine. So local media, and I already downloaded an ISO. It's in my downloads folder. You can download it from Microsoft's website. This is enough for the demonstration. Same here, enough for this. Customize, because we need to do that. Now, firmware. UEFI. Let's delete the tablet and anything that's associated with the display. I mean, you can keep it if you want to install Windows using the virtualized GPU. You can and then add the actual GPU later and delete it. That's one way of doing it. I'll delete it right now and uh, install it with the 980 only. So the sound, we don't really need that. Okay. So we'll add PCI host device and we'll find our 980. If you are using an RTX card that has like four parts, unlike the 980 that only has two, just like the audio portion that's not controlled by VFIO-PCI, any of the other portions like the USB controller that's on the RTX cards, you can add it even if it's not controlled by VFIO-PCI right now. When you add it and start the virtual machine, it will get captured and everything should work fine. So I'll add the audio. If I had an RTX card, I would now add the USB and 
whatever the other one is, serial or whatever. You also need a mouse and keyboard. You can either add a USB controller, which is the preferred way, and I have a guide that talks about that, or you can just pass through a USB device directly, and I'll do that just for the sake of simplicity. So a mouse and a keyboard, and that should be it. You can also, I'll just make it boot from a CD-ROM just in case I need to reboot or something. Okay, so we can start it now. And the moment you start it, you can start pressing any key. That's the first thing you have to do for the Windows installation to start. Okay, so here we are. If you have any issues with uh, the Windows not being displayed, uh, one way of doing it, as I said, is to just install it with the virtualized GPU and then add your desired GPU later, install the drivers, shut it down, delete the virtualized GPU, and start the virtual machine back up. Okay, so it booted again, but I didn't press any key because I want to shut it down and do a couple things. Let's change boot order to say that disk, apply, close it. Now let's open our terminal, become super user, and let's type in Versh, edit, win 10, the name of the virtual machine, or whatever you named it. We'll use nano, just to make it, just to keep it easy. And we will have to add this. If you have an NVIDIA GPU and you run into error 43, which you probably will, go to Arch Linux Wiki, I'll leave the link in the description, and add this. Between the hypervisor tags, we'll add this one, and you can change the value to something else. I'll keep it. So we'll find Hyper-V tags, and that's right here. Paste it, and we'll add KVM tags and everything in between. And that's right after Hyper-V ends. Paste it. That should be good enough. Control O to write, Control X to exit. Looks fine. If you made any mistakes, it will tell you. So let's start the virtual machine again and let's finish this up. Okay, so now we are in Windows. It should download the driver automatically. So we'll wait for that. Okay, so that's done. We can check device manager. Here is our 980. Clearly the audio is there too. Our disk drive, so the QEMU hard disk. This is the virtual machine we created. To improve the virtual machine, you can either watch my guides or you can find plenty of advice on the internet. So hopefully you found this simple guide helpful and informative. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.